Okay, woo! <laughs> hey, YouTubers. Um, I am Julia. You can call me Julia. And I am just starting a vlog about my super cliche life, I guess you can call it. Um, it's cliche, but it's cliche in its own way. And yes, I did rhyme. I am trademarking that so that no one else can get it. Seriously. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to talk about my experience as an 18-year-old who lives in New York City and who happens to have the most cliche thing happen to an 18-year-old girl. Girl, mind you. It happened to a boy, his girlfriend, not him. Um, I am withholding a jelly bean. And what a jelly bean is, is my way of saying that I am pregnant. Um... I like saying it's my little jelly bean because it is my little jelly bean. It's not a jelly bean anymore, but that whole story comes from the fact that when it was, um, when I got my first sonogram, it was like that big. I have a picture. I'm going to go like scoot over there and get it real quick. There you go. Um, let me just get it for you guys. There you go. Now, you may, I may have to re-put them, like, edit the pictures into the actual little movie thing because you're probably going to see a glare. That's fine. If I tilt it a certain way, you probably won't. <laughs> there it is. If you can see, it's really, really tiny. It's right there. It's literally the size of my finger um, on the screen. Dad, I think it was, like... I was 11 weeks when I got that sonogram, probably even less, I believe I was actually 10 weeks because the doctor screwed up on my leakage, so ever since then it's like I'm following the old pattern, but I'm not supposed to, it's like really weird, but um, I was 11 or 10 weeks there, actually I was 10 weeks because in this picture I was 11 weeks, and this is a picture of my belly, um, ignore the tattoo, <laughs> just ignore it. Um, it's a dragon, but it's besides the point. This is at 11 weeks. It's fairly small. Um, this, I should have, like, with this one, I should have started taking it from this angle. So you can't really see the difference, sadly. But this was at, um, like, two weeks ago. I was, that was, this was at 13 weeks. There you go. And then this was recently at, um, what I am now, which was 15 weeks Right now, as of today, I'm 15 weeks and 3 days. And this is a sonogram when I was 13 weeks. So cute! You can't really see it much. If you, like, stare really closely, right there is the head. Right there. And you can see the little fingers sticking out. Um, what I'll do is I'll definitely post them at the... Probably right now. Or at the end of the video. Ooh, my voice cracked. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it cracked. And this is my first time doing vlogs, by the way. And I'm really excited about them. I kind of want to just, like, reach out to other girls who have this cliche experience. Of 2012, um, pregnancy nice. <laughs> I don't know. And, um, yeah. I mean, I live in New York City, and it's, like, really, you can't find someone who you can connect to. But it's, like, not really. Like, I don't know. I do, of course, being that it is, sadly, something that happens a lot um, nowadays. I do know a lot of pregnant teenagers, but they're either already, like, done with their pregnancies, or they just had their babies, or their babies are, like, two already. So it's like, I don't, I have in common with, I would have more in common with them if this happened to me like two years ago or if I was having birth now getting giving 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 birth now I'm trying not to edit this video but it's, it's already been edited because of the pictures but I don't know I just want it to be like my rant so far it's four minutes four minutes of my rant uninterrupted um about four minutes it's gonna be five minutes but whatever and like I don't know let's see what else have I missed I haven't really missed anything else. I am 15 weeks and 3 days pregnant. I'm 18 years old. 
live in New York City, and I'm doing this just to look for other girls to relate to, relate to my story to. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and preach and say I'm also doing this so that girls who are 18 don't get into this predicament because it's not going to happen. You're not going to stop it no matter how many times you preach it, how many times you freaking put the condoms out on the table right in front of the teenagers. It's just, it's not going to happen. Pay attention. There will always, always, always be an 18 year old out there who <laughs> gets knocked up. It's just inevitable. It's like racism. You want to stop it so bad because it's a horrible thing, but really, it's just not going to happen. It's really not. As much as people hate to hear that, bullying is another thing. But, anyways, I'm getting off topic. I do that mostly. I get off topic. And I'm like playing with a little string, which is why I keep looking now. I'm like, it's very hard for me to focus. So if I play with the string, I will focus fairly well. Look like a little nerd with my glasses, but I am blind as a bat. Anyways, I don't want to keep this too long. This is my first video for it. Um, I hope I can get enough responses for me to make a new video because I'm not going to just like talk to myself. <laughs> That would be weird if I keep talking to myself. Um, I don't want to make it super cliche either, these vlogs. Like, I know a lot of girls, they do the pregnancy journal thing where it's, they only talk about the pregnancy. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to incorporate a whole bunch. There are going to be days where I'm talking all about the baby. There are going to be days where I'm talking about whatever topic just irks me that day. Like, for example, recently, the topic of um, Amanda Todd came up. And I wanted to vlog about it so bad just to let it out, just to like get my opinion out there. Nothing bad, just my opinion, you know. And I was like, wait, I should make a vlog about my pregnancy and all that, and I can use that vlog to make other vlogs about other things. So this pregnancy, pregnancy vlog is not only going to be about just solely the pregnancy. I'm going to have random topics throughout random days. Like, depends on how I feel, which is why I'm a little against editing. I mean, if suddenly the lamp falls from the sky and hits me in the head and I die, um, I would want to edit that. Or have someone edit it, considering that I'd be dead. But, like, things like that. Like, if all of a sudden I'm talking and a booger shoots right out my nose and, like, lands on my lip and I eat it accidentally, I want to I wanna edit that. You guys didn't want to see that. So, um, those things I want to edit, but I kind of want to keep it, like, not too edited. You know, I want to keep it as me, as myself. I'm not here to edit things because I'm embarrassed of what I said or I'm like, ooh, should I have said that's going to cause controversy? Whatever, if it causes controversy, it causes controversy. This I will edit out because it's my boyfriend calling me. Hello? Hello? Later, babe. I'm doing something. Okay. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Ah, strange I was hanging out. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I don't even remember because of my interruption. Right, I was saying edits. That's what I was talking about. My memory is just like really. Um, so yeah, I will post more videos um, explaining like how I became this cliche. <laughs> and, um,. More in depth, and more get to know me video. This is just an introduction of what is to come. Like I said, I'm going to revolve it around not just the pregnancy, about a whole bunch of things. And I'm speaking really soft now because I have roommates. Well, not roommates. I have neighbors, so I don't want them to like hear what I'm saying. But um, that's pretty much it. Plus, I'm really starting. And when you're pregnant, you don't want to be starving. Anytime you're hungry, it's as if you're dying. Like, you need to eat something. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, oh, that's another topic I want to talk about. Um, I do want to keep the traditions. Like, I will show you um, pictures of my sonograms, my belly. Um, which right now is actually, it's like a deflates randomly throughout, like, whatever. It's strange. I don't know how to explain it. But it does. It deflates randomly. Like one minute, like for example, if I eat a lot, it's the size of how it was in the picture. 
Whereas when I do not, or like right now, if I haven't eaten for a while and I'm like on the verge of starvation, it's like you can just see the, the lumpage, if you want to see if that is not a good word, the lumpage of it. So definitely I will show that. I'll keep that as a tradition. Um, post weekly updates, which in between may have my rants. But weekly updates of just pregnancy um, and how it's going, because I'm fairly new to this, so don't hassle me on like, ugh, what are you doing? Like, you can't do it that way. Like, no. I will do it my own way, but I will take suggestions. Suggestions are just like opinions. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm going to like attempt to try and make this vlog work um, because there are days where I just feel sick as a dog but I want to do it every Monday because every Monday I'm a new week um, so today's Thursday my next vlog will be Monday and then they'll be longer apart they'll be every Mondays and in between you'll get a rant or some strange random video that I was just like you know what let me just do it <laughs> So, um, my next video will be more talking about me, um, my relationship status, am I with my boyfriend, am I not, I am, but how's that going, um, and just the whole super cliché-ness of this whole situation, but like I said, it is cliché and it's the only way, and that would be my slogan. strings of words with punctuation at the end